Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to make a TV screen in Blender. So for this TV screen we of course want to visualize all the pixels so let's just start. Let's open our project file and save it before we lose it. This will be available on my creative support Gumroad so take a look there. So what we want to do now is just delete the default cube and add a plane. But we don't want to add a normal plane, we want to add a plane with an image on it. So we can actually uh, take that image and make and kind of do some math and it will uh, make it look like a TV screen. So just open the image or a video clip you want to make uh, retro-y. And I'm going to choose this video. I'm just going to scale it up um, so it's 2x2. Two two. And if we go to rendered view we can uh, see the video and if we play it plays the video so now we want to go to the shader editor and just change this to tv screen and we have this mp4 file which is basically just an image file but it's set to movie instead of image and uh, you have all the frames there so you can match the frames you set this to uh, 843 and now it's uh, as long as the video itself so what we want to do now is just add a texture coordinate node and place it behind and grab the generated coordinate and plug it into the vector. This will uh, do nothing for the, for the image, but it's useful for later. And we also want to add a emission shader. Screens are obviously emissive. So now we can see the video a little bit better. And now we can start with the pixels. So first you want to grab this and do a separate xyz then you want to grab the x coordinate and multiply it and you want to multiply this by around 100 so not 1000 but 100 and then we want to add a modulo math node and just change this to uh, one and then we want to add three color ramp nodes and we are going to set these to constant and for the first one we just want to gra grab this slider and um, invert this so the slider is at zero the white slider and then we want to grab the black slider and place it at one divided by three if you didn't know you can actually do a math here and you can do it basically everywhere in blender for the second one we want to do the white by one divided by three and the black we want to set this at two divided by three and then we want to add another node and place it at zero and make this one black as well so we the white parts in the in the second uh, third uh, these are the, basically just the, the pixels we're making and the last one i think many of you have guessed it already just place that two divided by three so now we have the left pixel the middle pixel and the right pixel morning, so we want to uh, grab this value and place it into the factor and now we want to multiply this by our uh, video so we're going to add a multiply for each one and then grab our and video and separate the color because uh, the red pixel needs to be uh, one of these and the green one has to be one of these and the blue one has to be one of these so we're going to use the red one for the left one that's how screens work and green one for the middle one and blue one for the bottom one so we can just multiply these and we can view them so the red pixels are left the blue pixels are middle and the green pixels are on the right. And now we just want to do a simple combine color to get all the values for the red, green and blue. And if we now view this, we can see this pattern up here, which is just computer pixels. And to change the resolution, you can just change the value here. Uh, more means more pixels really simple and if we switch to cycles it's uh, a little bit less of a headache to look at if you move it around but you can now play this and the video plays so this is the basic screen material and this will be available on my car road again and we can just change the, the strength um, to make it a little bit brighter but i think uh, five or two Maybe just one. One or two is just uh, enough. And if you want uh, sounds in your scene, you can add a speaker. And go to this tab and just open the same file. So now what you can do is you can just go to Google and go to Polyhaven. And then you can go to the models. 
and you can scroll down and there should be a TV here that you can download for free. You can download this television and just replace uh, the plane we just made with this uh, a panel and you can have a really cool uh, a TV. So I'm going to do that now for you. I don't want a 4K model, I just want a 2K or maybe just 1K for this video. Uh, so this will not be in the project file, of course, but you can just download this yourself. We have this TV model. You can just grab this front panel, go into the uh, material properties, add a new one and just add our TV screen and assign this. You can then go over the UV editor and just unwrap this and scale to bounce. And then if you plug it into the UV, you have the uh, video right here. You can just skate it around. So now it's, it is stretched, but it uh, kind of adds to the retro look, of course. So I hope this helps. And if, you, if this video helped you, you can leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. So have a nice day.